Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my first update for my Pan That palette for 2020. If you missed the intro, I'll throw it up in the cards, but this year I am trying to pan Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar palette. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today, or at least mostly. The glitter that's kind of on my uh, lid is not from the palette, but I've been testing a lot of like standalone liquid shadows and glitters. But I am trying to get out a bit out of my comfort zone and do like these more pinky and more red looks. And I've actually made like shocking progress so far. I've hit pan already. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what my palette looked like in the intro. And this is what my palette looks like now. So I hit major pan in this white shade right here. And then I hit baby pan like just a couple of days ago in the shade right here. The white shade I've been using just to set my eyeshadow primer. It's like a nice give me shade. So I was able to hit pan on that relatively quickly. And now it's to the point where I need to repress the shadow because it's it's a bit difficult to get a big fluffy brush just to get like what's left on the outsides there so I do need to repress that and that's going to be my tester shadow. I've never had to fully repress a Jeffree Star shadow so I really don't know how well it's going to perform. So that white shade is going to be my tester shade and as soon as I'm done with this update I'm going to be repressing that. Right next to it, the shade called uh, Sugar Cane is what I hit pan in next, and that's just been my go-to transition shade. I am wearing it a bit in the transition. I did go over a lot of it with these two deep red shades up here for today's look, but for the most part, I've been using this as my transition shade, and i kind of shocked that I hit pan. I really wasn't expecting to hit pan so soon, but what I've noticed is that these pans are pretty shallow, and the way the the um, shadows are they're very hard pressed so I have to dig more than like I'm used to but I'm also used to ABA shadows because I spent a whole year panning a subculture and those shadows are so soft that I, I got used to just like dipping in and like tapping off all the excess before going in here it's a totally different ball game they are pressed a lot harder and I really need to dig in not like a hell of a lot but I still need to dig in more than I'm used to it's not an ABA shadow by any stretch of the imagination so I said in my intro that I think I would get the most use at least at first out of this kind of top row bottom row when I'm showing you guys so I don't blind you with the mirror and that's been very true I've been doing this really nice go-to neutral look which has been the white shade to set everything after I put my primer on these two shades mixed as my transition and then deepening up the outer corner with either this deep brown or with this kind of warm brown right over here and it's a really nice look it's definitely work appropriate I can go a little bit darker with this shade I can go a little bit lighter with this shade and then I've been throwing on I mentioned I've been testing a lot of like individual uh, uh <laughs> liquid shadows and glitter so I throw one of those in the lid and then I'm good I even did, I normally don't like all matte looks, but I did an all matte look of this palette with those shades that I mentioned, and it was actually really pretty. Yeah, so I, I am getting a lot of a use out of this, and I've already hit shades in two out of the five. Six. I can't count. And we will just let the garbage truck pass. So as I was saying, I did get a lot of use out of these two shades, the first two out of the six on this neutral row, and I'm shocked that I already hit pan. Because if you mentioned, or if you remembered from my intro, my goal was just to hit pan in every shade. Because I didn't think I would actually be able to use up each shade. And I still think that is a, a stretch kind of goal. But I do think I'm going to be able to use up a few of the shades by the end of the year. But I don't want to say anything <laughs> until I get a little bit more uh, use with this palette. Because I've only been with it for a month. I've only been using it consistently for that long so I feel like I don't really like know it know it yet so definitely been getting the most use out of this row right here I, I have to say I've tried the shimmers a couple of the shimmers just on my lid by themselves with the glitter glue I really don't like these shimmers they don't they're not like really blinding they're not what I would expect out of a shimmer especially with some of the hooded eyes like this like a shimmer really needs to pop and it needs to last these don't even with the glitter glue like I'm not really a huge fan of them. So we've got like a shimmer right here. We've got this shimmer over here, this kind of brown one. And then technically this is like a shimmer, but that's, I, I use that more as a matte. And then this one's a shimmer. I, I've tried all of them on my lid and I don't like them. So I'm probably just going to end up using them like I would a matte, deepen up the outer corner, using the transition, because for me, these, 
It's not what I'm looking for in a shimmer at all. Which kind of shocked me because I think the only shimmers I really liked from Jeffree Star were in the Thirsty palette that I actually ended up decluttering. Declutter Week just ended here on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I know a lot of you love Declutter Week. And the last video was my eyeshadow palette declutter and I ended up decluttering the Thirsty palette. But the shimmers, like the metals in that palette, were a lot different from his typical formula and I liked those better. And comparing that to like these shimmers, I don't like these shimmers at all. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge for me moving forward too. Uh, so other than that, I really did dive in and start experimenting with like the deeper colors that I'm a bit more afraid of in this palette. I've used the purple and the pink. I did one pink look um, and then I did another look that I actually really liked. I did a really neutral uh, lid look and then on my lower lash line I did pink on this side and purple on this side. And it was actually really cute. They kind of looked the same when blended out on my lower lash line but they looked really cute and I liked it. And I've actually been using these three shades right here a lot to deepen out my outer V. So I tend to use them more when I'm not going to work or when like today I'm working from home so people really only see me through a webcam which isn't the best quality. So, <laughs> so uh, I do feel a bit more comfortable doing bright looks like this that I'm wearing today. So I've been trying to just dip into these and get used to them and you know play around with the the looks and the shades and see if I get like inspired by anything else. And I, I really like especially like um these two shades mixed together which is what I'm wearing on my outer V today. Just really pretty. Uh that being said I have not touched like these shades right over here. I really don't like the shimmer so I've been avoiding them. But I mean overall I think this is actually a really good like first month and I don't want to like get ahead of myself and like get too confident but I think we're off to like a decent start here. So we've hit pan on two shades and we only have 16 more to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this update video. Let me know down below if you're panning a palette for 2020 and how your palette so far is coming along. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, by the way, let me know down below if you guys want to see looks with next month's video. This month was busy because I decided to do Declutter Week the last week of January. Not sure why I did that. But I was very busy with work and with Declutter Week, so I didn't have time to do looks for this video. But if you want to see like that neutral look I talked about, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I've been posting a lot more there, so do that first. And let me know down below if you want to see little quick tutorials on the looks I've most been reaching for. Okay, now for reals now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.